Hello friends, uh, welcome to Data Pandit. So in continuation with the Abinishio interview question series, uh, we are going to talk about one more uh, uh, well-known question, basically. So um, multiple times, uh, interviewer ask regarding the data, I mean, how to read the particular type of file uh, using Abinitio. So, in all in all, uh, what Abinitio is like, it has to read the uh, you know heterogeneous pros, uh, type of data. It could be XML or Parquet file or RC file, you know, and uh, maybe a simple uh, flat file. Oh, okay, and or maybe uh, the file from mainframe system, right? Okay, so we need to uh, somehow get the data into the, our Abinitio system and then we can do anything or everything on top of the data, right? This is the uh, main main thing. The first, first thing that uh, the data should be in our Abinitio system, right? F to do that, Abinitio has an DML concept, right? data manipulation language or what do you call it is a record format so we we make the record format which is the kind of uh, we have as an intermediate tree you know to understand the uh, external data we need to look and see the external data or sometimes we may not see or we cannot uh, judge the data but abinitio provides other utilities to create the dmls as well let's let's say for xml if you have xsd file or xml record format you can create a different dml right or just on so we cannot read and see the data we cannot uh, you know while looking at the data we cannot decide what fields we can create on using that so yeah that is the discussion of for some other video we are going to see how to read a different uh, type of you know data so for now uh, so we have the this kind of data right so let's say it's in oregon uh, one of the region in uh, us so this is a let's say oregon revenue file most of the times i use the revenue revenue file so uh, that's all i mean uh, so the data looks like the data in majorly you know uh, Abinitio real time projects, the data would be like uh, this one header uh, data and you know trailer form. So, header could be a, uh, the number of fields will, will be different. Here it is in two. So, it is an indicator to specify it as a header. The following fields are part of header. The revenue report for the Oregon C is the second field, is in a comma delimited. You know, you can see that. And then there are following uh, multiple data records. And then and at last there will be a trailer record. And it could be like uh, it could be like this as well. So in the same file. Same file, this could be repeated as well. For now, we, we will see that this is only one file and it is in a header data, multiple data record, and then the trailer record. We need to read this file. So to read this file, we need to go into create the DML, right? To uh, Abinitio, so that Abinitio can understand uh, that uh, you know external file or the data placed in the you know Abinitio location or a Unix location, right? Okay. So because it's in a different different fields depending upon the type, right? Depending upon some certain uh, indicator field. So that is uh, normally is going to be the first field which indicates that how many following fields would be there. So the, it is in it is in heterogeneous format, but it is in a definite structure. Definite in the way when we say header, the first I mean it should be like uh, you know how many fields are there in the header. Basically, we need to read this record basically the header record and then the following data records and there will be. A, you know, similar number of fields in all the data records and then the trail the record. We should be knowing first hand what should be the structure of the header at least and the data at least and the trailer at least. So that 
think we should know otherwise we cannot you know it's we are unable to process actually now we need to create the dml so for that this kind of dml we have we have a concept called conditional dml we will have a conditional for a particular uh, you know type of record and then we will define the uh, fields for that particular type of record so if you look at it here my dml is getting started here i'm creating the, uh, the first field is going to be you know common for every every type of record so this is fixed string you know comma delimited rec, rec type let's say so for first record this rec type would be h the for from the second to n minus uh, 2 would be like uh, would be look you know whatever you call it is and all the data record would be like d and then t right so now again now the other fields would be decided upon other field in the sense second to n fields would be decided based based on the rec type so if rec type is h so i have an header file right header uh, header let's say header okay i can call it as an header so the value of the header would be like revenue report for oregon okay so if only header coming then there will be only two fields if it is an d then there will be a you know there will be a data one data two and amount field let's say if it is an amount so field data one data two and amount and then there will be a new line so i have uh, you know delimited as a new line for header again also for data delimited as a amount field okay um, after amount field there is no no uh, further field right that's when i have delimited as a new line and uh, if it is an if it is an else i mean i did not say else if but i am certain that there will be a header data entry then only i can you know specify this kind of condition so if it is an trailer i mean else then there will be a t and there will be a t i have read through rec type and then following field will be date and amount let's say transaction amount let's say so date following by the new line uh, delimiter record delimiter right so if you specify this so this kind of data i can read upon okay so this is going to be your you know question as an ab initio so uh, with that uh, i am going to end this so uh, the heterogeneous uh, type of uh, you know data maybe we are going to cover up in some some other video yeah thank you so much